Hey guys, it's Natasha and here we're going to be reviewing another strain. Now something new that I'm going to do and it's good that I'm doing this now rather than like 10 episodes in or a year's worth of episodes in. Um, I'm going to do my reviews on Lift & Co on real time as I'm reviewing this strain with you. Now if you were with me last week, we tried uh, Pumpkin Pie OG. Um, it is not available on the on the legal market. Today we're going to be reviewing Baker Street by Tweed. Now these guys are the pre-rolls and they come in a cute little convenient five roll pack. Now out of all of the LPs, licensed producers that are available in Canada, um, I really really like Tweed. And here's why. So first, they gave us a five pack of pre-rolls, not just a single pre-roll or anything like that, which is really annoying in my opinion. Um, it is sort of childproof, so if you have manicured nails like mine, it's really hard. Um, so you just have to squeeze these edges and pop this top open. And this is what the inside of the packaging looks like. As you can see, there's only one guy in there because I'm an avid smoker. <laughs> And I couldn't be patient and wait to do this video, so I smoked a bunch. Um, however, I have not smoked today, so we're gonna see how this truly affects me. Uh, another great thing about this pack is if you're smoking half of it, and in this pack comes five half gram pre-rolls, as you can see right there, little tiny guy. Um, but if you're smoking this alone and you smoke like half of it, there's at the end here, as you can see, I'm just going to shove my finger in there where you can put your roaches or things like that. Now, I don't know about you guys, but roach or no roach, there's still a little bit of weed at the end of that joint. So I like to put it in a bowl or, you know, smoke it like that. Now, Baker Street is an indica strain. Um, I have smoked it before, but I'm just going to smoke it now in front of you guys so you can get an authentic review. And then later on, if you can find me on Lift & Co, I've just started to actually review on email. I have a ton of reviews done in this little diary, um, but unfortunately those reviews were before cannabis <laughs> legalization, so I was just doing it for fun. And now I've discovered Lift & Co and you can do it on Lift & Co. So we're gonna do this together. You're gonna, you're gonna help me do my reviews. Right. I'm getting a pinene, a limonene. Um, these are the terpenes. So pinene, pine obviously, limonene, um, sort of a lemon citrusy taste. Very nice, very nice. Now the original straight name for Baker Street. It's like slipping my mind completely right now. But it's something good. <coughs> Alright, some of the crappy things with these pre-rolls. And I was just too excited to smoke it. So I totally forgot to tell you guys. It's good if you... Um, baptize it if you're just like kind of like uh lick it all around but not while it's lit um and then you like tap it a few times do you know what i mean to kind of loosen up the flowers so right off the bat here i mean i'm feeling okay i'm feeling pretty good It's like, how long do we take until we write the review, though? How long? 
I don't know. We're probably gonna have to fast forward through all of this. <coughs> I mean, like, I feel good. Um, see, here's the thing with me and like indica dominance, sativa dominant, and hybrid strains. Whatever it says um, doesn't necessarily mean for me that it's gonna affect the way a sativa and indica should or even a hybrid um because this is indica and as normally indica is um in the couch is where you'll end up and for me i don't know like i'm i'm feeling it maybe it's the time of day they never affect me how they're supposed to and it sucks so i'll be like damn yeah I need like this nighttime strain and then I'm smoking this indica like strong ass motherfucking ass you know and and I'm not tired if anything I just want to smoke some more which sucks maybe I need a tolerance break I've been smoking weed for like I'm 25 and I started at 10 so and and like y'all can judge or whatever but it wasn't like I was avidly smoking up until I turned like 14 or 15 it was just some dabbles and obviously I didn't know much at like 11 or 10 years old about strains or dominance or you know phenotypes or anything like that but I do now I dropped the ash. That is actually what happened here. Carpet's gray. Let's just. Okay. We're good. I'm not going to set the house on fire. Um, But it wasn't until a few years ago. I would say maybe like five or six years ago. That I started really getting interested in like cannabis with cooking. Now I've always been into cooking. But cannabis and cooking i'm just like why not combine my two favorite passions now everyone's all about like these lollipops and these brownies and chocolate candies and i'm like let's make a hollandaise sauce yeah let's let's make a hollandaise sauce so i made a hollandaise sauce <laughs> it was really good um now of course i didn't do the mathematics behind it so i don't know how much per 100 milligrams in any serving <laughs> so um i just based it on feeling and i <laughs> a few of us passed out like not that long after we finished eating and there's like two couches and like five of us on two couches and we all woke up a few hours later just um it was it was really fun it was really fun um but that's when i realized i put too much in and <laughs> recently i found now math isn't my strong suit and other things are so i finally found the mathematics behind it and as soon as i'm financially stable I am going to start remaking uh, different recipes and I, I'd love if you guys could comment on what you want me to make and I, I am going to videotape it. I will videotape every single step, every single process. Um, even how much can of butter or can of oil to add um, and things like that. I just need to make a hell of a lot of can of oil or can of butter first. I talk too much. I'm excited. Oh, also, I've um, been dabbling in soaking 
buds in olive oil to extract all of the THC from the olive oil and then obviously you would strain um you shouldn't do it with beaten up buds because it'll be harder to strain unless you can get like a cheesecloth but even then it's very minuscule so if you don't want plant matter in your olive oil don't do that um but the extract process it, it's it's a long process because you want to extract as much THC as possible um and obviously it activates with heat Fry some eggs in that. <coughs> and again, <coughs> I did not do the math behind the amount that I should be doing in each, like according to our province's regulations. But, but, I will eventually, you know. This next batch. But I want to do it with can of butter because I really want to do pasta because pasta is like some of the best food and all you need is a base of fat to put your can of butter in and the world is your literal oyster. Um, of course it has to be activated by THC via cooking. Don't just eat the raw butter not made my hands swell I think we can rate this really well but my ratings are not for novice smokers beginners or anything like that because unfortunately I don't think even with like a 30 day sobriety that you couldn't blood test me and I wouldn't come up positive <laughs> I mean, so if you're like that, if you have that much confidence in your smoking, um, then yes, these reviews are for you. So if you want a strain that's gonna make you obviously giggly and I'm supposed to be talking because this is a video. <laughs> I shouldn't inhale. <coughs> You guys just watch me for probably like 20 minutes smoke this joint off and on it's good <laughs> oh shit we're supposed to fill this out together Okay, I thought my iPad died. iPad's piece of shit. Okay, I, it, it turned out again. Like, I, I just can't. <clears throat> and I'm back. Okay. <coughs> I'm on Lift & Co. We're gonna fill this out together. What would you rate this product? Well, I'm pretty high. So, I'm gonna say pretty good. All right, we'll give it, give it a, damn, you can fill out the stars. That can be like three and a tiny of a fourth star, not a whole fourth star. Um, I definitely purchased this again. Let me fucking click on it. Review title. Create a short, descriptive, and accurate title for your review. <laughs> I like to think I'm like super fucking quippy. And god damn it, like, I don't. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I called it Bake Street. 